Welcome back. So today I got my OBD2A to OBD1 conversion harness. Paid uh, $17 on eBay. Has pretty good quality. But today I'm going to show you how to convert your OBD2A to an OBD1. Right now I just have a uh, PO5, which is uh, the 8-valve ECU. My brother AJ um, has the P28, my P28. So I'm going to have to give him this back. But uh, I'll show you how, how it works, and I'll show you my car, what it does right now. Um, I don't know why it's doing it. I think the computer's fried. So I'll show you. You can see how it's... I've checked all the vacuum lines and everything. So we're going to go ahead, and I'll show you how to do it. You're going to want to pop this cover off. The ECU has a couple bolts, 10 millimeters, that hold it in. I've already removed this a few times, so I just left them out. You want to disconnect it. Let me set the phone down. Disconnect all these plugs. And then you want to take the harness, uh, See, one of them won't have anything in it. That's for the automatic transmission stuff. Since this car was an automatic, and I still have the automatic harness, I'll still plug it in just to keep it out of the way. But you'll go ahead and you'll plug... If I get these plugs in there, right? You'll plug them all in. Now, all you have to do is plug in any OBD1 uh, ECU that either has a tune or a chip to where you can set it for this engine. A stock one will work fine, like this PO5. It just won't have a lot of power because the PO5 suck. Uh, P28 is what I recommend on all of them because it is a huge base map, jump in ignition timing. It's, it's fantastic to use on non VTEX as well. So you go ahead and plug it in. Make sure it clicks all the way in. You don't want a short connection here. Make sure it's all good. And then I will start it back up. No fluctuating idle. So I'm going to show you the engine bay. Running really good, real smooth. And that's how you convert to an uh, OBD1. Now, if you have a Z6, you will have to use a Z6 distributor with the distributor connector, which you can also buy on eBay. It's just plug and play, just like that. Um, so yeah, just plug it in, play, you're good to go. Um, also, you can see my door is gone. I'll shut this off for you. And you'll want to tuck that up out of the way again. I actually I took the door off to paint it, just like I did with this door. And uh, I'm starting to paint the door jams, but this right here, once the door's on, I'll be able to finish the rest. I'd do it all later. So let's go. I'll show you the door. You can see I took all the seals completely out and the window out. Replaced it with a 35% tint because that is that window is way too dark. Couldn't actually see out of it. Painted the door, put the trim back on. Literally took it all apart to paint it. Took mirrors, window seal, all that crap out. So the door is going to go on. Um, once I get the door on, I'll start working on the rear quarter panel and so on. But definitely stay tuned to the channel. I'll have more videos. I'll actually do a pool video for you guys so you can see how quick the car or slow the car is in this case we'll see because um, I'll be putting the P28N wiring VTEC up after all that it'll be time to throw in the race cam so definitely stay tuned guys lots of stuff happening uh, like subscribe share thanks for watching everyone